Hello, so today I wanna to talk to you about one of my favorite props to have on hand at home when you're doing an exercise routine, um, especially involving stretching, um, and they are great to have when you are pregnant. I'm gonna show you why. Um, so this is a yoga block. A lot of you guys are used to seeing it. Um, this one's probably about four inches tall um, and usually around six inches wide you're gonna find that there will be some that are a little shorter, um, but it fits a pelvis perfectly. So the sit bones that we sit on, so those bones right there, it fits perfectly for our pelvis. And the reason why I like it so much is because oftentimes we have a lot of tension, I say we, a lot of people, have tension in the hamstring muscles. So when they do positions that they're sitting on the ground, their body kind of gets pulled like this, and it just feels kind of not good. They can't sit up nice and tall. Also, as we have a growing belly, it's gonna feel even more cramped in this space, especially in the front of the hips. So when we sit on a yoga block, we then can sit nice and tall. As you can notice, I'm able to sit up taller and stack my, my ribs on top of my pelvis and I give myself more room in my hip flexors, especially mamas as you're pregnant, it's just gonna feel so much better. And from here, you can do some of the best stretches for your pelvic floor health. Um, so sitting right here, you can do, um, I'm gonna show you two favorite exercises. One is working on nice deep breaths. You can check in with yourself now to see if you can do this one. Um, you're gonna put your hands on the side of your rib cage and you're gonna take three big belly breaths, breathe in through your nose and try to push your hands apart. And then exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So you're really trying to push your ribs out. Inhale. And exhale. And then other favorite exercises, I'm gonna show you one more. Doing stretches for stretching out the muscles that attach to your pelvis, which are going to influence your pelvic floor health, especially for those of us that have tension. Um, this is great if you tend to have tightness in your pelvic floor, um, especially if you are expecting a baby. This is really essential for you preparing for delivery. So you put one leg out to the side and then you're just gonna lean forward wherever that is that feels like a good stretch for this inner thigh right here. Um, especially when you get up on this block, it gets you up and over those sit bones and then you can hinge more flat in your back. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of sideways. So I'm able to get up nice and tall and I can hinge more like this for a more isolated stretch on the inner thigh and I'm not gonna feel like I'm rounding out my spine because that's just definitely not what we want. And you're gonna stay here. Now, I recommend counting your stretches with breaths. Instead of saying, I'm gonna hold this 20 to 30 seconds, I would say hold it for four to five deep belly breaths. Then it is two birds with one stone. You're working on your breath and you're also making better use of your time and counting your time with breath. So hopefully that helps, gals. If you don't have a yoga block, they are really easy to come by. Um, you can get them at any fitness place, Targets, all the major stores have them. You can order them online and they really shouldn't be that expensive. So hopefully here is to your health. And if you, like me, have to exercise more at home, all of us do, um, have this in your arsenal for your home exercise program. Thank you.